Today's telecast is being presented live from Los Scandalous Shake and Bake Arena. And Bricks, we've got some major star sightings today. Oh, look, there's Tom Shanks. And there's Tyler Scary. And oh, oh, that's Jennifer Gorins. Wow. <laughs> Are those things real or fake, you think, Grim? Well, if you're talking about those two big chihuahuas she's holding, yep, they look real to me, Pop. Remember, in the NFL, we encourage you to play with your food. He's probably lining up against you. The San Francisco 49ers take on the Los Scandalous Dam. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Yeah, man, I was huge on the now. They only have... <laughs> It's time to tune in, turn on, and drop what you're doing because NFL Game Day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. So, what's the game plan for the home team today, Bricks? Uh, I think they gotta keep it simple. A little cough syrup, maybe smoke a little untidy pod pregame so they can keep their heads in the game. I mean, literally. You don't want to get decapitated on the opening kickoff. I say go after the refs early and often. No mercy. And it's first and ten. Hot one. First down and nine. Hot, hot one. Hey. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. And I think he's more of a downest guy than a speed thing, Grim. He's running from his team, it's clear. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. Second down and a lot. Hot, hot one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot. Nice run for five yards. <laughs> Second down and five. Hot, hot one. Hot two. You can't keep a good meal. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, he's going berserk. The ball carrier. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Oh, uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? And 
downs. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Second down and long. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. And the passing game picking up some steam, a gain of seven there. Third down and six. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is a palm print. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And this player has one three. He's the bullet and the offense is the target. He scores! He earned those points on the heels of an epic run. Nah, don't call things epic, Grim. Kids aren't gonna think you're cool no matter what you do. Junior, I don't want kids to think I'm cool. <laughs> don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. First and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot. And that's a run for no gain. Second down and ten. Warming up. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. Oh, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on the nice catch. And he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a look. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. Tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and magnetic. And the whistle blows the play dead along with the quarterback. First and ten. He is running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And it's first and ten. That's 
the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. Bricks, the offense has been relentless on this drive. Is the defense wearing green? Because they're doing everything but forcing a stop. And it's first and ten. And so at the end of one, we're all tied up. We'll be right back. Scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. And they line up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double step burrito from Taco Hell. Yeah. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It, it means he can return it for, you know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Second and three. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Hot, hot one, hot two. Oh my God! The thief he's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And like a monkey from... He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And the body toll continues to climb. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that. The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, his head just exploded. Third down and ten. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. down and never gonna happen he's got his beast boost working the player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass and he's off to the races he's at the and the ground game is starting to soften up the defense first down First and ten. Hot. 
Second down and more than the QB would like. Hot one, hot two. Hot. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick. The only thing the QB can do now is run for his life. Or die. Third down, the offense needs a miracle. Hot one, hot two. to the air and came up big. No, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. The punter for today is being played by my kid's sister. They let the punt drop, and it will be down by the defense. And it's first and ten. Second down and seven. And the defense holds that pass play to only two yards. Third down and five. Throws his oh with the punishing hit. At some point, they're going to need to put this ref out of his misery. Uh, how about now, for instance? Here's a hit. Dirty tricks attack the ref. Third down, and offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Now, this guy had a lot of integrity. If he took a bribe, he blew the whistle. He put his money where his mouth was. Yeah, he now his mouth. Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. The offense just burned the defense pretty hard on that one. Man, it's still edible now. Just gotta scrape off the charred parts. Two minutes remain in the half. Great! I gotta take a dump! Again? You just wet. How is that even possible? Ah, it's the nachos, man! Want some? Nice punt! Should move him back nicely. The return man catches the ball and... Oh, man! He just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're gonna hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. Coleman about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. Hot one, hot two, hot The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just caught blocked the clock. Third down and long. Hot, hot one, hot two. Great chance for a big game. But still not enough for a first. Even I'm frustrated. And I'm a team. They quickly call a timeout, hoping to save some time for their offense. 
You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And it's first and ten. Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. Second down and six. What is this, 80s wrestling? Third and four. <laughs> Not much there, maybe a young... Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! was missing was his number for the last three plays. Talk about luck. The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. The defense takes its final timeout. They can't stop the clock anymore, so they'll need to stop the offense. They don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And he's got a chance for a good return here. That, my friend, was an all-pro NFL hit. <laughs> the second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? I'm going to go to a strapeze show. Where we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Yeah, Just pet your rabbit. Get him now. Get him now. <laughs> They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Second and three. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. is your brain and boom oh, and he's dead oh, bingo 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 i got bingo grim oh that's huge looks like the defense has it oh that was a big hit hey bricks i bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career ah uh, let's see about a quarter after three grim but my watch is a bit slow the offense has only one quarterback left if he dies it's game over yeah uh, this new qb he don't even look too confident he's yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. And it's first and ten. And he'll pick up the 
first down with a nice piece of running there. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. Eight. Wrestles away from that tackle. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. Second down in a very lot. One, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Talk about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Third down and the punter is warming up. The defender says, I don't think so. For a kick this far, you just gotta kick it as hard as you can, partner. And Dane, it's really important from this distance. It's probably a smart idea. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. And it's first and ten. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Second and three. No, well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Third down and three. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Oh, with a brutal hit! Second down and ten. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Ah, uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's bad. With literally no players left on their roster, the damned lose by forfeit. It's probably a good thing the game ended up in forfeit. They weren't going to make it out of the stadium alive with this performance anyway. The fans were going to kill them if the opposition didn't. I love that fan passion. Let's hear what the game's MVP has to say about this carnage. I'd rather listen to Sarah Palin read the entire works of Shakespeare while tripping my brains out. Uh, actually, that sounds kind of fun. Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microheart Corporation. They get it right every up.